here we have Sally at Arbor Park and she's doing absolutely great she's loving it and that's freeway that just ran by he's one of the dogs well he's a dog that I bring to the park his owner died and the female owner died and he's a leisure world dog and uh, and he um, you know he doesn't get out much because his dad's not in good health and can't really walk far uh, he has COPD and they're just right across the street from me so I um, I've always taken him to the park when I bring Jake and then we're walking Sally and Freeway are walking over to see what my dog Jake is doing which is usually putting his head in a hole a gopher hole and which makes him ooh, sorry for the jiggling of the camera the terrain here is a little bumpy so Sally's going to go over and look. Sally, did you look in the hole? Sally. Sally. Did you look in the gopher hole over here? Huh? Jake got mad and rage quit us. <laughs> he went away. And there's Dottie, who's a real cutie pie, too. So it's a little overcast and um, not a lot of dogs, which is nice. So I always go back to the back, so dogs that are older, like Sally, <clears throat> can walk around in peace and not be in the middle of the main dog traffic. And then after this, we're going to go to Huntington Harbor and take a very short walk with, with Spencer, who is in love with Sally. Spencer tried to hump her a couple times yesterday when I walked her with him and she rebuffed him both times like get away from me you crazy dog <laughs> but she walked with him though yeah hi Sal what's going on not lots of neat smells here huh Sally yeah a lot of neat smells here So she's being she's a really good girl I mean she, she just like you said she got in her crate when she was tired last night I, I have it in the second bedroom and I go in there and get on the computer and check my emails and stuff late at night and she came in with me and just got in her little her little um, bed and um, went to sleep <laughs> and the way I knew she was asleep and she was snoring it was so cute and so I just, you know, locked the doors, um, locked the, the crate door, and she slept until, gosh, I want to say 7.30 this morning is when I got up, and she was just kind of waking up. And so I, um, I think I wore her out yesterday, which is good. You know, it's really good for them to get all their energy out. And, uh, <clears throat> and she had a good time. You know, she's pretty spry for being 11, and she's already pooped twice uh, this morning once when I took her on her walk and now here at the park and uh, you know it is looking a little more firm but it's like she continues to go even when there's nothing coming out but like a little tiny drop and then she drug her butt across the grass here so I don't know if when um, Banfield groomed her if that's where you took her to be groomed, uh, if they express the anal glands as part of um, the grooming package. Because when a dog rubs its butt on the grass, sometimes it usually means their anal glands need to be expressed. So anyway, just food for thought. So I'm just kind of following her around and watching her enjoy smelling all the different smells. And... Uh, I'm sending this to Jesse so he can share it with you. Over and out.